In order to start a project, you're going to go up to the purple and pink circle and click the plus sign. And we're going to make a video. So we're going to come down here where it says video. It's up to you if you want to put a title here. Uh, I'm just going to skip it, but you can put a title. I highly recommend you go with the start from scratch option. I find that when I use the templates, I spend a lot of time deleting things that I don't need to do. So I'm just going to click start from scratch. I highly recommend you use this and I highly recommend you instruct students to do this. Now we are in our video builder. And uh, um, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, select a theme. So over here on the right, you have layout, theme, resize, and music. Um, I have a branded theme that goes with my school. Um, your students won't have this option. You won't unless you create a theme. Um, but generally speaking, you have this set of themes. This are, these are the only choices you or your students have. But if I pick a theme, I can pick a color scheme within that theme. Everything that goes with that theme, the fonts and everything else, that can't be changed. So um, just have your students pick a theme. It's super easy to change themes mid-project or at the end of a project. So I would encourage you to have your students pick a theme, letting them know that they can change things at any point, and Express will automatically make all those changes. So I'm just going to pick a flare here, and I'm going to go with the blue theme. Your project is going to always start with a one slide and a credit slide. You don't want to delete this credit so slide because when you select items from the Adobe library to include in your video, uh, Adobe will automatically build a credit slide for you. So neither you nor your students need to worry about giving proper credit. So I would highly recommend that, that you encourage, you never delete that slide and you encourage students not to delete it. When I click here on layout, I can see I have four choices for layout. I have full screen, split screen, caption, and title and text. This is another place where if you pick a layout and then you decide to change it, it's pretty easy to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my video, 10 rules for walking a dog. So you'll see here that you have the option to add a video or a photo. When I work with students, I recommend that they start by just using the assets that are in Adobe. Um, and because that automatically creates that credit slide for them. So let's do that. Video you'll see is going to go and ask you to pick a video from your computer. This is where you could upload a video that you had made. But I'm going to go to photo and you can see here that you have a search. So I'm going to look for uh, dogs. And you'll see right away lots and lots of choices. So I really like this one here. I'm going to go with that. Super cute. And now I can add some text. I'm going to add a hypothetical co-author so I can show you how to add someone 
to your file. The information um, just gives you the information about that piece of work that you've included through Adobe. Now I can go on clicking the plus sign and just adding more slides. I can have the text or the photo on either side, but um, I have to have one or the other on each side, either text or a photo. Icon gives you some black and white things, so just play. Now it's going to be up to you or your students whether you are adding narration as you go or adding it all at once at the end. But let's just show you how to add narration. All I do is click and hold down the microphone. Ten Rules for Walking a Dog by Helen and Student. If you need to re-record, it's super simple. You just click the button again. 10 Rules for Walking a Dog by Helen and Student. Rule number one, get a dog. Now I talked to you about how you can change the theme at any point. If I decide that I want to go to a different theme, it's as simple as clicking and uh, it will automatically adjust. You see what I said about it creating credits? Up here you can type in your own credits if you include some of your own work or you can see that it's automatically putting in the information about the pictures that I've used. That's all there is to getting started.